What is going on guys? My name is Ron back in from Ron Reviews here with another episode reaction and the final reaction of the season to Kaiju number eight. I'm really excited about this one. Now, before I jump into this, I've had a lot to talk about and it's because of my day. So if you don't care about personal stuff, more, be more than happy to skip ahead. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, one thing, how do you guys like this little disheveled look? I haven't shaved in a while because I've just been lazy. Um, I don't know. Some people think it might look be better. Some people prefer I look clean shaven. I don't know. Your opinions. Anyway, other thing. I got hit by a car today. Like, no joke. I was on the top of a hood and rolled off. Didn't, like, land badly or anything. I was able to maintain my feet. But I got hit by a car. Yeah, so, if, if for those who don't know, I work in grocery retail. I'm a big dude. Yes, I am losing the weight, but I'm still tall. I'm really tall. I'm kind of imposing. So, usually I'm, I'm told to look at people. Usually just me watching people is usually enough to dissuade them from doing things. Um, that was usually the case today. But however, I happen to be upstairs doing some things when they call a security check. I'm finishing up a couple things to come downstairs. But by the time I already come downstairs to the lobby where everything's going on, uh, there was a big commotion. They're like, oh, she, she's outside. She's outside. And they're like, hey, Nick, can you can you grab his uh, can you grab or grab their um, license plate? I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. That's not too bad. I step out, so there's a crosswalk separating the parking lot into our store, so I'm on the crosswalk, and this girl's already in her car, and I'm looking to see if she has a license plate, because she's backing out, and she's slowly coming up, and I'm like, I'm like trying to look, I'm trying to look, and then she just guns it. You know... I don't really wear anything that shows that I work there. I was just kind of like walking around, just like I was just staring at the car. Doesn't even say anything to the lady. But I think she saw that I was looking. Because the moment I like looked to see if she had a license plate, she put her pedal to the metal. She put all of her weight on the gas because the tires started squealing. And thankfully, I was maybe two, three, four feet away from her when this happened. So it only caused a little bit. Okay, I was actually probably a little bit further away from it, but I only got hit maybe going five, six, seven miles an hour. But it was enough to be hit me right on the side and I went on the hood and then got yeeted off. Perfectly fine. I will have some bumps and bruises. I actually have a little bit of a scrape. You can't really even see it because it's, so it's so light. Um, there's a little bit of redness. Yeah, you can't really even see it on here, but there's some redness right in this area from when I hit the hood. Um, and my shin is actually already swelling up a little bit. Um, it's on my shin, not directly my shin. Um, so yeah, it was very interesting because it was like, I wasn't even mad. I wasn't even scared. It was just like, oh, let's see if she has a license. And I'm standing up perfectly fine. Best part is I had a drink, not this, but I had like a um, a liquid death. So imagine like a tall boy can because I was just going around because I just finished taking a break too when I went downstairs. So I'm walking around with it. I, I don't look like I'm a worker. I'm just a guy just walking around with a with a tall boy can. And I'm just like walking around. So I get hit. I didn't spill a single drop. My phone fell out. Thankfully, it's in a damn good case, but there's a little bit of scratching on it from uh, when it hit the pavement. You can't, you can barely see it. Um, uh, but my phone dropped and then our handles that we use to scan inventory, that fell too. Those things are built like a brick. That thing had, had like a couple scratches too, nothing else. My drink was perfectly fine. I was more annoyed. I was like, and the first thing I even said, I was like, really? And I'm just laughing it off. I could have been seriously injured if i was more in the center of the car she could have ran me over all that stuff but yeah she and then she just squealed past and like went through two lanes of traffic on both ends like one lane was going that way the other lane was going this way she went through both glad she didn't cause an accident kind of hoped to happen but at the same time i'm glad it didn't because no innocent people would have gotten hurt but and then she took off Hopefully she doesn't come back because she just saw, you know, she ran over someone with a car. I couldn't report it 
because if I report it, I would get fired because technically I interfered by being outside. I shouldn't have been outside, but I didn't like confront the lady. Honestly, I was technically just finishing up a break. I was kind of figuring out what the commotion was and I was like, oh, let's see if I can get a license plate. I didn't do anything, but eh, it is what it is. I'm fine. I will be bruised. I'm going to be recovering. A little bit of a bit of a downer because I've been loving exercises lately. But yeah, I think the fact that her car was like this Jetta, so it was not that too big. I, I'm, I hope I actually dented the hood more than anything, but apparently she is known in our store. I I got a good look because, you know, I was on the top of her fucking hood, but I, I got a good look at her. So if something happens, I know we can immediately just call the police um, or something. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to have to definitely hold myself back, but... Going back on topic, Kaiju number eight, I am really curious on seeing how this is going to end. Um, we see our boy Kafka being um, uh, held, and he's starting to lose control now that the Shinomiya, the uh, the chief, is basically pushing him. Okay, you just decided that um, the chief is pushing him to his limit. So uh, it's going to be him learning to control it, and then this is going to be like, okay, he learns how to control it. Maybe we can at least let him live. That's going to be my prediction. But yeah, I'm ready to jump into this. I've been going on for almost six and a half minutes. I do apologize. I just wanted to tell you what happened because, you know, some people have, what, what do you do for work? Oh, I you know. I just sit in a cubicle, do some things. Oh, I just walk around, do a couple things. I got hit by a car. Yeah, that's a story I'm going to tell you. But yeah, I'm good. Um, I'll keep you updated in case something happens. You'll see me again tomorrow. But yeah, I'm ready to jump into this episode reaction. So without further ado, let us jump in. Two kaiju number eight. I know it's gonna start with the intro, but let's start in three, two, one. Let's jam. How many plates was that? That's a. I can't. I mean, it depends on how heavy those plates are, but that looks near the end. One thing I do like is how all of the uh, the garrison basically liked him. Those eyebrows, though. Hopefully not for questioning, like. Yeah, probably not. I mean. She's probably watching. Oh, there's not any of them there. Are they going to? kind of messed up oh dude just broke his fucking spine to launch an attack Oh, that's ridiculous.
<laughs> it's fucking dope. Does it move? Oh, that's fucking dope! Oh, could it, kill, like, consume his consciousness? Yeah, I felt like he was it was purely to test. He wants it he he wants to know. Like if he wanted to kill, he would have killed. I mean I, I assume that was the entire point the entire time, but Oh. Is it breaking through part of that sh Okay. No, nope, but hold on. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking dope! <laughs> Oh my god. What? Is it like trying to consume him?
Or was this a test too? No, wait. This is a good episode, man. This is a really good episode. This is a really good episode. Oh, is it? Mina? Be waiting. He's gonna s no, he's gonna punch himself. I'm a human. Did he hit his core? No. That's kind of number one. Uh, there was a number one on that giant weapon, so I'm assuming that's a number, that's from Kaiju number one. They basically, she showed no favoritism. Well, not the first one. Not the first part. Actually, no.
he didn't use. The cat. I mean, it doesn't matter if you you said exactly what it said. Like whatever she says, you guys already made up your mind. So what the f fuck off, fuck off, mate. I'd rather die. have faced Shinobu or not Shinobu Shinomiya that scar is gnarly but see that was the first thing he said he realizes like yeah that was the first thing he would have been dead but the fact that it's not like it's weird But, yeah. I have. <laughs> Damn.
true. Then has to go right back. She lets her guard down for a second. Drops her facade for a second. Well, it's not a facade, but yeah. Because of what she saw, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder when they're going to release him. Yeah. For now, someone's gonna leak. Yeah, it's something's gonna leak. Yeah. He's just knocked out. Oh. Oh, I thought that was going to end there. Are we, okay, so sneak peek to the next arc, which is going to go into the next season. <laughs> Number nine. He has a Roomba. My dude's got a Roomba. Interesting where, place of where they're going to end it. Interesting spot. Yeah, no, uh, this was a great episode. Uh, this was a phenomenal episode. Um, I know this has been done before. Um, I don't know if it happened because I never watched it and I probably never will, but Attack on Titan, uh, I'm assuming it's, it was the same way. I'm pretty sure that something happened in the first season where it's similar where Aaron lost his shit um, and couldn't control it, but at the end he was able to. Or they were able to, like... Um, hold them down or something like that. I forget. But it's been done before, but this was still a really damn good episode, and I cannot wait for second season, which has already been announced. Uh, but, I mean, to be fair, this was a very popular show. Um, it makes sense that this one that was um, announced for a second season, but yeah. But I'm going to wrap this up. I wanted to exercise today, but I, I just can't. Not today. I, I'm, I'm going to be banged up. In fact, my shin is, ooh, is very painful. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to basically probably just take a shower and just relax. As much as I love exercising, going out, getting some sun, 
Um, I, I know it's hard to see, but with, with this, uh, the setup, but I've actually gotten a significantly darker. Um, I'll probably show you somehow, but I think I can show you. Yeah, look at that. Look at that tan line. Look at that farmer's tan. That is disgusting. I, I've been getting a lot of sun lately, um, but I have to wear a tank top because it is just too damn brutal. Unless I get like like a lighter color one, but I don't have any right now. Uh, but yeah. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. I'm excited for season two. I hope it maintains the quality because this was a good episode. But tomorrow, another banger. Tomorrow I'm going to be pretty busy. Uh, I get off work a little bit later. Um, and then I'm going to go work on the videos. And then I'm going to meet up with a friend for a birthday thing. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. A lot of two shows um, are ending and um, I can't wait. Not that they're ending, but I just want to see how it's going to end. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya.